Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Haran. Currently, I'm looking after the AIGC solution in global market. So, as we know that the uh, generic AI topic currently is quite hot in this year. And, uh, you know, in the past, uh, usually we use AI to do some prediction parts. And with the capability evolution for the AI parts, currently we can do more about the understanding and creating. So we, we can use the generic AI to do the to write emails, to answer some questions, to draw pictures, and even do some more things. So maybe you may have the question that, so what can we do using uh, Alibaba Cloud Solutions? Actually, AI has been widely used in most of the Alibaba own business. For PyLitao, actually that is the image search uh, apps, we already saved more than three billion images and currently we use it to search in the daily work. And in the logistics scenarios, we have more than 10 million AGVs. We, we call it a little monkey. And uh, more especially, actually, we, we, we have a specific scenario, so we need to do the customer, smart customer service because we, for the human parts, we cannot support such high uh, transaction volumes. So we use the AI parts, and today we are using the AIGC part to support more than 98% of the customer tickets. And we also have the Vision AI, and we have the Tmall voice interaction and the Alibaba translation uh, skill sets. So currently, we already used many of our skill sets into our own business, own business. So this is means our large language model, our diffusion model, it is not designed by today, by this year. Actually, we already uh, do this, did the research and do the development many years ago. Since 2021, we already have our uh, large language model, we call it Alice Mind. And we have the multi-modeling models, we call the M6, to prepare the uh, a base modeling and also do some support for our own business. In this year, as we know that, so Alibaba Cloud, we have the Tongyi Wanxiang and Tongyi Jianwen for our own large language models. So we start to make it as our commercial one and standardize it so that all the customers can use it. So yesterday, Jingren already mentioned that for the AIGC solution uh, portfolios, we have four layers. We have IS layer, we have past layer, mass layer, and SAS layer. So for the IS layer, we have our engine cluster to hold all of the uh, hypergenous computing capabilities. And for the past layer, we have PI, which stands for Platform for AI, plus the vector stores. And for mass, this is a, a new wording, but currently, even in this year, everyone already knows that that is a model as service. So what does the model as service exactly mean? Today, I will show you the demos. And finally, we have the SaaS. Actually, we have the many industry models and many industry solutions. And we also mentioned in previous slides from Ben, from Gary, from Emily, we already show you some of the demos already. So today, I will show you some underlying capabilities about as we know that, so maybe the large language model that is a new technology, maybe that is uh, uh, quite hard or maybe difficult to, to, to do some fine tune or do some provision. So can we simplify it? Can we decouplize it? So this is our questions. First, for the IS solution, let me maybe emphasize again that we have the, our Ningjun solution. So it is also consists of three layers. On the uh, bottom layer, so we have the CPFS, that is the clustered parallel file storage for the high performance I.O. communication. And we also build our both GPU and CPU dual center chips architecture. So we can uh, support mod, um, uh, most of the high performance GPU like A100 or H100, A800, H800, and, and so on. And in the second layer, there is a network. We also self-designed our own RDMA network. 
And on the top layer, we do the virtualization, and that is uh, based in uh, uh, Kubernetes and the container. And you can use SSH or use Jupyter or even just uh, run of your own dockers for all of your models. So on the right side, you can see this is a screenshot for our control panel. So we can control all of the node, and uh, you can do the monitoring parts. You can uh, do the scale out or scale up or do some other uh, adjustments. And for the past solutions, actually we provide many kinds of the vector stores. Currently we have ADB stands for Anatomy DB PG vector. Actually, it also same designed the vector engine. In the meantime, we also have the Holograss and Elasticsearch to support some other kinds of the vector stores. So may, you may have the question that, so currently you want to uh, engage the LLM in your own business, but you also have some concerns for the data compliance. So you want to save your own data into your own servers and with the specific dedicated tenants or dedicated instance. So how can you save your own data into the specific vector stores? However, you still want to leverage all of the large language model capabilities together. So you can see on the architecture, so for the red uh, rectangles, so this is the base models. And for the blue rectangles, you can upload all of your data into the vector stores. And all of your knowledge that is saved to do the vectorization, and then to, to have the combination um, with the large language model. So here, there is a demo here. So you may also have some questions. Maybe you have some business analysis. They don't know how to write a SQL command, but they also want to do some analysis from the structured data. So currently, we have our a new product. We call it the DMS Data Copilot. So actually, that, that is an add-on for the DMS if you already use it. You can simply just uh, input your requirements to maybe search some of the uh, top of the shoes, and then it just uh, give you generate the, the SQL commands, and then you simply execute it into the ADB PG vector source. Next. So today we may have also same questions that, oh, your Alibaba Cloud also published the Tongyi Qianwen, but actually we also have some uh, open source large language models. So how can we fast provision it? And how can we decouple it? So you can see this architecture. So we have three key modes. The first one is for the vector store. This is what I mentioned just before. And with the long chain capability, you can combine between your open source large language model with your vector stores. So afterwards, you can use your apps Simply use the HTTP request to connect to the long chain so that you can combine all the large language model capability. So today, you may already have so many applications, you don't want to change it, but you want to leverage your AIGC capabilities. What can you do? And today, we have so many open source models. We have Llama 2, we have uh, Falcon, or even Tongyi Channel already have some open source versions. So which one is the best? You don't know but you want to fast change it and fast test it, is there a way that you provision all of the whole architecture just in one or two minutes? Let's show the demo here. So here we use our PyES to provision our large language model. You just simply to choose some image here. You can see this command. Currently this one is to uh, uh, find out some image for our already self-built large language model. It has uh, Lama 2 or Bai Chuan or Tongyi Qianwen or Falcon, whatever. And uh, uh, after that, you, you just uh, input some specific uh, configurations and you can also uh, uh, make it as your internal web, uh, network. For example, you, you input some uh, uh, VPC information, and you can also change the GPU parts. Today we can choose A100, we can also choose V100, P100, T4, or whatever. And after that, you just simply click the deploy. Then it starts to provision your environments. Now, it is already doing the creating parts. And another case is you, 
you also need to provision a long chain with your ES. And also, similarly, you input the uh, configuration parts and with the GPU parts. OK, now we have the two ES service now. And now I connect it, and it gave us some configuration. I can change the large launch model by the URL. I can also change the vector stores. So I can just quickly check the endpoints from the ES service, and then I just combine with the long chain together. And here, this is the connection endpoints for the vector stores. Simply, I also input it together, and then I connect to the ADB. And now I need to uh, upload a vector source. So previously, I just uh, checked our, my vector tables. It doesn't have any data. And now I just uh, sim simply upload a knowledge KB articles there. And after that, you can see it's doing the vectorization. And then I go back and I can start to ask all the questions what I want. For example, do you know max compute? In the past, actually, it definitely doesn't know this because this is Alibaba's products. So, so for the common base model from Lama 2, it doesn't know that. But currently, because I just upload the knowledge base, and it can show us all of the results here. And then you may have the question, so how can I integrate with my applications? Can I use the HTTP request or write some Python code to simply call this command? Definitely, yes. Let's just wait for the demos. So you simply click this one and find out the public endpoints and uh, put also the token there and you just uh, write your Python code. You get the similar results, what you have done from your web UI. This is the demos for the language parts. Okay, similarly, maybe you also have some matter question for diffusion models, text to image. Currently, stable diffusion is already quite, uh, quite popular uh, in the industries. So you may also have the similar question that, so how can we fast provision the stable diffusion with the Laura fine tunes to do some image processing parts? So our architecture here is we use, similarly, we use the same Pi EAS, means the Elatis algorithm service, to provision the uh, image models and to save all of the image files into our OSS. So here, this is demo. So first, I use the same panel to config, but today, I choose the stable diffusion model. And uh, with some configuration, you can also put the configuration file there, and uh, continually, you, after you uh, deploy these models, you can even upgrade your GPU as well. OK, I just uh, input some of the configuration here. And the model parts currently stands for the stable diffusion. OK, usually this deployment just takes maybe five minutes to finish. And uh, I choose the existing one. And it launched the open source stable diffusion web UI. And simply here, I just uh, write some text here. Oh, please generate a girl for me. Oh, it just uh, generates out. And you can save it back. So this is uh, the typical scenarios. But in the meantime, you also want to know how to do the Laura fine tune or to keep your own KV or your own IDs to do some uh, uh, posters generation or to do some uh, slide fine tuning. So I easily just uh, change some of the parameters here. And I want to generate a girl with the sunflowers, with the farm, and with the, the, the fancy background, currently I just simply click the generation here. So because this is in real time, so it will take several seconds to generate the picture, but you will see the surprise, actually this is so fast. So this demo, the key point is you need to see the face, whether the face is same or not. We need to keep the same face with the control net uh, open source model, and then, but for the background parts, you can see that's different. So that's another demo so that you can just use the, even no more than five minutes to build your own stable diffusion uh, open source models. OK, here is another one. Actually, Zhongliang and Jingren just uh, presented yesterday. So we have our own KB assistance. So if you just uh, simply want to do some internal KB assistant, we, currently we have a product. We call it OpenSearch LLM. 
So this time you just upload all of your documents together and you, it will do the vectorize uh, similarly, but actually this is our SaaS API. So you generate this and uh, use the SaaS API to integrate with your own applications. Or alternatively, you can also uh, just use this web panel to input some of the questions. And it also leverages some open source uh, uh, language models, and you can also post out some of the parameters and you can input to uh, do some uh, SFT. Okay, so now everything is about the parse part. So if you, are, you have some your own data scientist or you have the development teams, you can do like that mode. But today we still have so many uh, uh, commercial or, or marketing teams, they also want to do the similar things. So they also want Alibaba Cloud to provide end-to-end -end solutions for some specific scenarios. Currently what we received, the most top three popular use case, the first one is for the eighth generation. So we, uh, for there is a company, they want to provide uh, different styles of their own products with maybe Instagram style, Twitter style, Xiaohongshu style, but they want to just generate it very fast to save the time, save the cost, and to uh, do it in a batch. So currently we can use our uh, Tongyi Chenwen solutions to support it. Second, for the customer service, Ben already tell you all of the details about that. So we can use our AIGC solutions. This one, we call it uh, customer service co-pilot. In Chinese, uh, it is Yun Da Mi, the uh, next generation of Yun Xiaomi. Actually, for the customer service, that is our standard products, and uh, we leverage our own large language models together, and uh, uh, it can provide you the standard customer service. So you can put either uh, with the specific customized web end or you can also use H5 or API to integrate with your own customer service systems. Third one is for the uh, uh, auto BI parts. Maybe you also have some of your uh, uh, business and analysis teams. They want to auto generate it some uh, uh, BI charts. So with the products of Auto BI Insights, uh, we can achieve that. So I just uh, simply input some of the words about please help me to build some reports and then it automatically generate all of the uh, chart reports for you. And then you can continue to do some selection chains based on that. And uh, for the diffusion parts, so we have our Tongyi Wan Xiang. So you may also have some similar questions. So what's the difference between the previously uh, vision AI and the currently AI GC parts diffusion models? So you can see the uh, middle picture. So it is not only to do the simple merging uh, from your uh, diff uh, multiple pictures, but also do the shadow rendering. And at the same time, it is not only to do the image processing, but also to do the image understanding. So today I want to, you can see there is a tiger there, and I want to keep that tiger with the cat styles. And then it will understand what the styles means, and then it generates the tiger with that style. That is what the underlying understanding capabilities to be used in current image and vision AI scenarios. So with these capabilities, we also have top three use case. So the first one is a KV banner. So this is a more commercial part. So we have so many KV uh, pictures, but I want to automatically generate all of the uh, KV banners for our uh, maybe W11 campaigns or maybe the specific scenarios. I want to save time to send out all of my KVs and then automatically generate it based on the different styles, maybe summer styles or winter styles. Second, in the um, middle case, you can see we have the virtual influencer. This is the Dong Dong, which is the uh, influencer for the uh, Beijing uh, Winter Olympic Games. So you can use this, winter, uh, this influencer to do the live chatting and uh, live selling for the uh, e-commerce parts. And the third one is for the virtual try-on. 
So if you are the, a close selling company and uh, you want all of the buyers, they can self try on all, uh, to see the uh, preview and results. Uh, it is uh, just generated by the different capabilities. And uh, you can see from the videos parts, it has the uh, real time try on. So if you have the interest, I, I think we can talk something more about later. As a summary, so we provide four layers of our AI GC solutions. For the ice parts, we have the Lingjun computing systems. For the parts part, we have our vector stores. And for the mass parts, with the Pi EAS, you can use your open source large language models or stable diffusion models. And with SaaS parts, we already and we are increasing more and more industry models and industry solutions to use in the different use cases. That's all from my side. Thank you so much.